Hey guys, I am going to do kind of a vlog entry today because I don't have a lot to show for what I've been up to. Uh, one of the things I talked about is I was going to take this board, which is a 1 to 5 SATA adapter, and take a bunch of my SATA drives and mount them in a trash can looking, you know, let's see. Actually, this is really cool on Thingiverse. So, why sure? So I was going to scale this guy up, and I was going to mount like five SATA discs. I don't know which one it was. One of these. Scale it up and mount five SATA uh, drives in there. And I've just been having fits with the 3D printer. The other thing, and I don't know if you guys know this already. So this is Thingiverse, and I've printed a number of these out. I... I've been using that one for my Pioware because it's got the, or similar to that, because you can mount a fan on it. This is a nice case. I've printed that case out. I've printed, nope, not that one. Printed that one out, printed the Pi 2, Pi 3 version out. Something like this where you're stacking, the, this one's a lot of material and it's specifically designed for Pi devices and I have or it's a Raspberry Pi species of Pi devices. Let's see, uh, this one I have on my 3D printer. I have a setup, basically Pi Zero on one side and I soldered a cheapy hub on the other side. So it's connectable. Uh, this kind of cool, I printed this one. Let's see, right here. And this one is kind of cool. Not, I don't know what how useful it is, but it's a cylinder with a bunch of Pi Zeros. So now we're getting into something that I'm interested in doing, what I've been trying to do. Some sort of stack like this, maybe scaled up a little bit, and there may have to be an adapter in there, kind of like what I was printing before and I showed, um, let's see, it was the an adapter like that. And I've just been having fits with the 3D printer. And of course, I want to print everything. I don't want to have to go to the hardware store for anything. And my idea was to use like a snap tab. You know, it's kind of like a, a hook. So it goes through it. There's some locating studs. Like I would use this as the locating stud. And put, you know, a slot with a tab in there that it would just slide in and snap. And I've just been having fits with the 3D printer. So uh, my goal was to get things like this. This is an, the original upboard, this guy right here. Uh, that is Banana Pi M3. That's a Raspberry Pi 3. This is a Orange Pi Zero, the bottom board. And the quote-unquote daughter board on top is their NAS slash... So you could fit a uh, SATA port here, M SATA right here. That's audio and video jack. Uh, so it's composite audio, not component. Let's see, is that a microphone and IR blaster? I don't know if I missed one or two items. So there's uh, USB ports on that puppy also. And is this one? Okay, because it's got a, uh, there's no display port on it. Hold on. So this is the Pi Zero 2 Plus because it's got the HDMI port. And I got the, I forget if it was the option of the H3 and the H5 chip. Anyhow, uh, I'm going to run out to the 3D printer, show you what state it's in, unfortunately. And while I am here, I want to thank my patrons, Andy Meows, John Hollinger, Umar Seer, and Matt Champ. And if you go to flyingrich.com, which I had to fix the uh, center feed here, that's the Google Plus feed, uh, flyingrich.com, you can contribute by going to patreon.com. One buck a month would make me seriously happy. And also, you get uh, insider information. Doesn't it sound cool? Sounds exclusive. Some, some exclusive content. Sometimes I release my videos early there. That was a GIMP. Uh, I took a picture of a pole saw and an AR-15 pistol. And I'm going to take a walk out to the garage. And I got one more thing I want to talk to you about. 
So I mentioned earlier, see that's my Pi Zero, and uh, after during the hurricane moving things, I, I broke a wire off. I got to solder that on. And you can see the heat sink, and I got the print head torn apart. I got a wedge of some of this filament in there, and uh, I got to figure out how to clear that before I can use the printer again. Oh, hey, and it is Veterans Day on Saturday, so if you enjoy your freedom, thank a veteran. And I uh, marched with a tea party in a Veterans Day uh, parade in West Palm Beach, and it was really nice, really fun to do. So if, if you guys are ever thinking about getting out there and doing something with some sort of organization, uh, I had a good time. So just, just remember, it's fun. And uh, one more thing. Okay, I've got a Vizio TV. Whoop, I wanted to push wrong button. I wanted to push the iHeart Radio button. Um, this is my constant rant about having root in open source and we return to the America I remember. Let's see. I clicked iHeart Radio. Clicked iHeart Radio. Threatening our economy and our way of life. Okay. So Every time I do this, I got to say, no, I don't want the 30-day free trial. Let's see what it does. Okay, so I got to say no to the 30-day free trial. And then it's supposed to autoplay. All right, it's going to autoplay. It hasn't it's for a while. Impossible to sort through any I'm going to mute. Uh, but right now, it's not showing my favorite stations. It's showing... I think their favorite stations because I got to click up and over and then it lists the stations I like, which is kind of annoying. So I can't in settings, oh, let me go back up. I can't change it. Let's see, manage account subscription free. Are you sure you want to log out? Okay. Explicit content, autoplay. Terms of, so there is nothing I can change here in settings. Uh, realistically, it's just the autoplay. Uh, and I don't know why it's on terms of use and not autoplay. Okay, so it went off and now it's on. It, so it's not displaying correctly at this point. And manage content. And that's it. So my beef is with products that you own but really you don't because you don't have root and it's not open source. And I feel the same way about CrashPlan. I have very much so enjoyed CrashPlan. I've got CrashPlan running on a Banana Pro and the CrashPlan is gonna stop service. Well, I've tested in my virtual environment two Ubuntu distros uh, backing up to each other. They they um, work, and I set their clocks ahead like 10 years. So it still works, but you will not be able to register additional devices in the future. And I went on Crash Plan Tech Support, and I had a chat with a guy, and he said, home plan is ending. And pretty much any question I asked is like, will, they be able to, will I be able to get a home license to do peer-to-peer -peer backup? Uh, will you sell the software? This can I make that suggestion? Pretty much every every question I asked, the answer was the home home version of Crash Plan is ending. So uh, right now, Duplicati seems like the best uh, best backup. I haven't been doing Duplicati in a while. Uh, just a couple of things occurred that uh, have prevented me from doing it. It's not as full featured as Crash Plan. I definitely really enjoy Crash Plan and would like to have it but uh unless you know a group of us can convince them otherwise that's how it's going to remain all right guys hey thanks for watching uh thanks for pledging john hollinger in case you're wondering you probably know this already tracy holtz is a truck driver also and uh, he was in florida today he was between orlando and tampa someplace at a distribution center drop it off stuff and uh, I was like, hey, you coming south, buddy? And he's, he didn't know yet. But John, would love to hear about what you're up to and what you're doing. Take care, guys.